Hey there everyone, Aaron Spalsberry here at 3X Logic again. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up restrictions and locking video on certain uh, areas of playback in here. So what you see is I've gone ahead and launched into playback within the client software here. And let's say for instance that I had uh, really just something on this video that I wanted to let's say keep. Well, I can do a couple of different things to keep the software from rewriting over this particular video instance. And in fact, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. If I just simply right click anywhere here on the screen, I can come down to where it says locked video and I can either do the entire playback. That of course would have been what I searched for an hour, a day, a couple hours, whatever it was that I initially plugged in uh, to get into the playback screen. Or I can also do marked region only and you can actually use the start and end range markers to set up just specific areas that you essentially want to lock within this area. Now what this will do is this just simply flags it for not being able to be rewritten over because all hard drives will eventually rewrite over themselves at some point. This simply removes it from that cycle. And in fact, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and set this guy in here. So when it does uh, go into locking the video, it does ask for your name. Of course, I'll put my name in here. And, uh, and then of course, any notes that you may want, you've got your notes listed down here below. And then of course, come down here and hit okay. Once you do that, you'll get this confirmation message that says, hey, this video has been been locked. Now, where is that? Let's say, for instance, I went in and I found whatever it is that I was looking for. Maybe I exported it. I finally got it off of the DVR. I did whatever it is that I need to do with it. Well, I want to put that video back into the pool, if you will, of what the DVR can write to in terms of hard drive space. So in that case, I'm going to come over here to where it says manage locked video. I'm going to go ahead and open this little window up. Sure enough, what I'm going to end up seeing is, is if I expand this guy out, I can see my locked video. And in fact, if I double click on this, this is going to automatically launch into that particular playback window. Now, I already had it pulled up before, so it just simply duplicated it and opened up the two windows side by side here. But let's say, for instance, I was all done with this. I've got it all set up. You know, I, I basically just want to put it back into the pool. Just come up here to the top, hit clear lock, and it'll say, hey, do you want to clear this lock? Yes, I sure do. And ta-da, it you know, deletes itself from the list. Now from here, just a couple of other kind of neat key points. You can actually come in and search for various locks or users or cameras or even things you may have in the notes, just in case you have a whole lot of these in here. It actually does have a nice little search engine or search tool that you can use in here. And in fact, one thing I'm gonna cover as well, that's going to be the restricted video. The restricted video works the exact same way. In fact, if I were to bring open this window, obviously I don't have any in here, but it looks exactly the same. You have the same searching, so on and so forth, the same ability to clear a restriction. And in fact, even if I go back to this window and right click on it, sure enough, here's even that restrict video and also some other options in here. For instance, now that I've got two cameras up, you can obviously see it's going to give me options for even additional cameras in here. But what is restricting video? Well, it's a little bit different than locking, right? So just to recap, locking the video will keep the system from rewriting or writing on top of that video on the hard drive, right? It basically just keeps it there until you tell it otherwise. Restricting the video, that's going to limit this video to where anybody that doesn't have permissions to see restricted video they obviously are not going to be able to see it. And in fact, all they're going to get is a black screen that just simply says restricted video when they go into playback. But they both work very, very close, kind of in the same way. Restricting video is going to give you a black screen. Locking video keeps the system from writing over it, but you can use them either independently of each other or combined together, you know, as kind of a, a, a brute force, if you would. That's really all that there is to this, guys. Uh, feel free to play around with it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one.